现在最后一张纸，请所有三位登机的旅客。One, two, three, So I was just sitting on the beach in Da Nang here. Crazy, right? And I've noticed that these, uh, these fishermen are dragging their boats out into the sea. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and try and see if I can film it. <laughs> these are the traditional fishing boats or rafts, if you will, uh, that's found around central Vietnam. They're basically like a basket and they're flat bottom and they've got one oar basically for the fishermen kind of steers with. I find it fascinating that, that they can do it actually. It doesn't look really, really efficient. So, I saw this guy from about 500 meters away, uh, pulling his boat in, with a lot of effort I might add, because it's basically just dragging on sand with a flat bottom. And then uh, he jumps in and now he's kind of steering it into the into the sea. I'm not sure if you can see it but in the distance there's uh, actually a couple of guys out there already. I mean it's freaking crazy. So here's one of these boats. I, I can't remember what the name is. I'll find out but um, as you can see it's 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 just a basket. It literally is a basket. Completely round. Completely symmetrical. From high angle you can't really see, but... But if you look up close... It's basically... The same weave as a... As, a, as like a rattan or a... Bamboo cane... Bamboo slash cane basket. And it looks like... Maybe they've... Slapped a, a lick of uh, tar on it to get, make it waterproof. And basically, you can see it's just a, a, a bamboo platform that the fishermen stand on or sit on when they're out, out in the sea. And I assume that you know any, any fish they catch, they just kind of throw underneath. But I mean, it's this one oar, which if anyone's done dragon boat, looks like a short version of the sweep. So I mean like this is pretty effective actually in, 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 uh, in pulling water and uh, this bamboo rod in the middle here. But yeah I mean it's pretty, pretty ingenuine I guess, pretty, it's pretty smart. And you know like Da Nang's becoming this tourist, tourist strip now so I think in the next few years and you're not going to get this sort of pristine, pristine sort of uh, beach side anymore. I mean, you can see now that already there's uh, developments along there, and even here they're brand new. I'm pretty certain here, this stuff here is is in development. So who knows how much longer these boats are going to be here? You know, this is traditional. This is their traditional uh, method of fishing here, and you know where they come in you know, get their daily catch and then sell at the markets, but you know, as, as, as the beachside becomes privatised, I can imagine it just won't be as, uh, as prevalent in the future anymore, which is a shame, it really is a shame. <laughs>